In this video, we're gonna take a look at setting up a native VLAN on our trunk lines. And so what we have right now is we are on this demo laptop right here. And I have a ethernet cable plugged into switch two, which is right here. And then that is connected into switch one, which is right here. And going between these two devices is a uh, trunk line that VLANs are allowed to pass. And what happens is, is as information comes into here that it, or into switch two, it tags it with the VLAN that it's supposed to be on and sends it across this trunk line. So it's more specifically, uh, demo laptop is set up on the management VLAN, VLAN 10. And so when it is trying to remote into this switch right here, what it will do or ping, let's say it's pinging this switch right here, what it'll do is it'll come into switch number two and it will get tagged then as it goes out the port, this trunk line, it will get tagged with a VLAN 10 and then switch one will receive that and understand that it's part, part of VLAN 10. And since it's being pinging that device, then it will then reply in a similar fashion. So the thing is, is that we can connect these and have all that, that traffic going across there, we can have it labeled or we can have it tagged with whatever VLAN it's a part of, but we can have a native VLAN and that is the VLAN that doesn't get tagged across that trunk line. By default, that is VLAN one. VLAN one does not get tagged as it goes across that trunk line and all other traffic does. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna specify that VLAN, uh, let's say VLAN, um, uh, we'll say VLAN five is our, is our native VLAN. And the importance of being able to specify what the native VLAN is, is that there is some legacy equipment and there's some things that still require a native VLAN or cannot tag that, that traffic, or there's some protocols that need that native VLAN. But on the flip side, if it is just the default one, anytime you have the default, what, you have a tendency to, uh, or there's potential that you could get hacked. There's some things that you can leverage with it. So it's always to, good to set things not as the default. So that's what we're gonna take a look at is how to set the native VLAN. Let's set the native VLAN to five across that line. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up switch one first and we'll program switch one. So, and, and uh, what we can do is we'll need to get into the interface. So I'm going to get into the interface and this is interface FA1043 is the one that connected to switch two. So we'll get into that interface and the, what, the uh, command that we'll use to set this up is switch port trunk native VLAN and then the VLAN ID. So the, in this case right here, we're saying it's five. So we'll hit enter. And now that traffic uh, VLAN five is not gonna be tagged as it goes across there. Now we're not generating much traffic or any traffic really across VLAN five. So it's not that big of a concern. But at this point in time, we would have a mismatch. These two devices, this device is talking across this trunk line and it's not set to the same native VLAN. So there are times when you'll actually see messages come up that there is a mismatch and, and uh, many times it can recognize that. So what we're gonna have to do is the same thing for this. So we gotta get into the interface. So I'll go into global configuration mode and then we get into the interface. And for this one, it's FA047. We'll get into that interface and do our command switch port trunk native VLAN five, hit enter. And now we're set up the same on both of those switches. Uh, I'm going to end and we can do show interface FA047. And I wanna look at the switch port information. So let's take a look at the switch port information. So as we look at here, trunking native V, uh, native mode is VLAN five. So there it is. We see that VLAN tagging is enabled. We see that the VLANs enabled on here is VLAN 10. So everything is looking, oh, and then we got uh, encapsulation method is dot one Q. So everything is looking correct on this switch. And, um, and now we're able to uh, communicate um, without using tag traffic on VLAN five. If I want to remove that, pretty simple to do that. 
Uh, what we need to do is get into our interface. So I'll get into the interface and all we have to do is do the same command with no at the beginning. And now we'd have to do that on both devices, right? Because once again, we need to make sure that the native VLAN is set to the same for this to uh, run properly, to work properly. So there you go. So now we have applied it, tried it out, and now we've removed it.